Thanks for joining me today on episode 64 of the Digital Marketing Masters podcast. This is Yolanda Rose. I am a digital marketer and every week I bring you easy, actionable tips, content and strategies that you can use to grow your business online almost immediately. So today on the show, we're talking a little bit about the church and I'm going to be giving you five reasons that your church needs digital media to be a priority. Now, if you had to Google church digital media, you'll be served up with hundreds of millions of articles about using digital platforms to grow your ministry. There's no longer a question about whether the church should be on digital media or not, but it's a matter of how to build a strategy, how to get involved and how to grow your presence online and to get more people actively involved in the church. And as a, as a church and as a minister or if you're involved in any kind of ministry, you need to be prioritizing digital media as well. So if you want to take advantage of all the opportunities that digital media provides, you might need to elevate its importance. Today on the show, I'm giving you five reasons your church needs digital, digital media to be a priority. This episode is sponsored by my Digital Disciple Masterclass, which is launching soon. Go to my website. It's www.yolanderose.com. And on the homepage, you, uh, you'll be uh, taken to a link where you can sign up for this free, free masterclass where I will be showing you everything that you need to know to get started in digital media for your church. So there are a lot of churches, a lot of ministries that are vying for people's attention in your community, in your city, in your country. And if your church is involved, but not really invested in growing their digital presence, you might be wasting your time and resources as well. Digital media offers so many perks and possibilities. And if you're a long-term listener of the show, I mean, you know what we talk about on how we can be growing our businesses online. And it's the very same concept that the church of God needs to be using to, to spread the gospel. And not a lot of churches are doing this well. And we'll find the mega churches with a lot more resources, a lot more strategies that can get uh, the specialists involved uh, that are really crushing it on social media and digital platforms. But small churches, community churches can be using these platforms to grow their presence, to make their presence known, to promote their events and to get more people involved in the church. If you can't justify time spent on social media, I encourage you to consider the following ways your ministry might be missing out. So the first reason is that digital media might be the first place that people find your church. Over 46% of church planters say that digital media is the most effective method of outreach. Now think about this for a second. Out of all the possible outreach me methods, almost half of today's church plants are seeing a bigger return for time they invest into digital media than anything else. So it isn't like digital media is competing with your website for the most visible digital channel. It's competing with every other uh, method of outreach. With a thoughtful church strategy for digital media and some regular money devoted to advertising, the church can create awareness of your ministry and send people to your website where they can learn more. Plus, when you add a, a pixel, either from Facebook or from Google onto your site, you can retarget these people on various platforms wherever they are. Number two, you can build a relationship with your congregation's friends. Now, let's face it. This is the reason most people are on Facebook. They are there to network, to share ideas, events, social gatherings, personal aspects of their lives. Everything is being sh shown on social media. And it's through likes and shares of your updates from people or who already attend your church. Your content is pushed into the feed of their friends and their family. So when you explain to your congregation that interaction with the church's Facebook page is a form of outreach because you literally sharing a message, you sharing an event uh, that's happening at the church. So you can build a strategy around sharing your culture, your church culture with people who might be open to learning more. Number three, Facebook groups and events rival some churches' social networks. Now, there are some great software solutions that are out there for churches to use to facilitate 
the digital community. But one thing that is really fantastic about digital media and Facebook specifically is the fact that most people are already there every day. I mean, using Facebook groups for ministries or studies or is an incredibly easy and free way to keep people together on the same page. So you can create groups for, for prayer, for home sales, Bible study classes, uh, or even lifestyles groups for people. Um, like, for example, a widow's club, uh, a 50s club, a pensioner's club, and create these groups and let people interact on the group w- with the given guidelines, of course. And you can even invite people from outside the church as well, people from the community who are a bit reluctant to join, but this give the se- gives them a sense of insight into what that p- specific group is about. A Facebook events is another great way for you to raise awareness for an event. I mean, you can invite everyone in the church and they can invite others too and all updates and important information can be communicated in the event group you can even experiment with ads to promote your event and again the great thing is that everybody is already online they're already on whatsapp and insta and and facebook with digital media you are meeting people where they are I mean, community is in transition. People are building important networks and connections while they are online. And it is becoming very valuable for people to connect. For instance, 35% of couples that married between 2005 and 2012 met online. So the way people are interacting is changing and the Church of God needs to change with that as well. We do not need to conform with what the world is telling us, but we need to embrace this technology. Or get left behind. So instead of fighting this transition, the church should be embracing its inherent positives and the opportunities. Now you can go wayward, wayward without a strategy, but this is where the church leadership needs to buckle down and have a clear goal and vision about where you want digital media to take your ministry. We should be taking advantage of every tool at our disposal to reach people where they are. And right now they are online. And lastly, number five, Your social media accounts represents your church's vitality. I know it doesn't feel like it should be the case, but when people come out to one of your social media platforms and you haven't updated it in a while, specifically your website, it shapes their impression of your church. And if you're going to have social media presence, it's important for you to regularly update it. So this means that you need to be very particular about social media platforms your church adopts. It's better to have one or two platforms you really excel at than to be on every platform and do terribly on them. So these are the five reasons your church needs to prioritize digital media. And I want you to, if if you are involved in Christian ministry, I really want you to take up this opportunity and sign up for my free digital disciple masterclass. It's, It's happening on the 11th of March, depending on the time that you are listening to this. It's the 11th of March is going to be a live one. And then we will have regular, uh, regular updates. Maybe once a month or so we will run digital disciple masterclass again so always stay tuned to our website and you'll catch the updates on that but sign up for this i'm going to really be breaking down and giving you some inspiration on how you can use digital media to grow your church's uh, presence online and with the end goal to to grow your church membership and really increase engagement in your ministry so that's it for me on this week's edition of the Digital Marketing Masters podcast. And I'll chat to you soon. And I'm really hoping to see you guys inside the Digital Disciple Masterclass on Wednesday at uh, 8 p.m. South African time. I think it's uh, 12, 12 noon Texas time. I'm not exactly sure what uh, well, what, what timeline that's on, but uh, Texas time, 12 o'clock. So I'll chat to you soon.